America. I'm Teresa Hollywell, head of public relations for Bain Capital, one of the world's leading private investment firms, co-founded by GOP candidate Mitt Romney. You might have heard a lot of awful things about us lately, which we would like to address. First of all, House Assistant Democratic Leader James Clyburn accused Bain Capital of raping other companies. That is not only physically impossible, but also very untrue. What we do to other companies is very different from rape. What we do is we approach another company that we're interested in. Maybe it's a company that we've known for a while, or maybe it's a company that another company has introduced us to, and we take that company to dinner. And we talk about the possibility of doing business together. After dinner, we say that we're going to take them home, but instead we drive them to a dark alley and we initiate whatever business proposition that we want, regardless of their consent. Then we wipe off, we drop them off at home, and we tell them, listen, don't ever tell this to anyone else, especially not the FTC. We are in the business of doing really good business, nothing else. So when former employees of GST Steel accused us of coming in like a vampire and sucking out the life of GST, it is, it is frustrating to hear because that is not even close to how Bain Capital conducts business. Here's what we do. If you look at the structure of a business, the top part is what we attack first with our two-pronged approach that infiltrates the main artery of the business. Then we transfer the assets to another company, leaving the first company lifeless and the second company immortal. Yes! <laughs> See, we're totally different than a vampire, except you could ward us off with garlic. <laughs> I'm just kidding, we're unstoppable. <laughs> Oh, and I've heard about the comic book fan people who were hopping on the Bane hate train. There have been some jokers comparing Bane Capital to Bane, the superhero villain assassin of Batman. Oh boy, guys, that one is a stretch. Bane, the Batman villain, can't live without something called venom, okay? At Bane Capital, we can't live without something called money. Bane the assassin is famous for breaking Batman's back. Bane Capital breaks the spirit of small town enterprises, honestly. The only thing Bane and Bane have in common is that their names sound kind of alike and we both pray on the good guy, but really that's it. <sighs> I'm glad we cleared things up. And remember, we're not a rapist, a vampire, or that bee job who hurt Batman. We're Bane Capital, a company who cares about things. Is it blow jays? What is it guys? Bee, jo bee jobbers?